Hi everybody, welcome back to the wonderful Armour 3 and the new wonderful Spearhead 1944 World War II DLC. And in this video I want to talk about mortars, how to use them, kind of how they work, because I think it's different from how it previously has been in Armour 3. Now you'll have to forgive me because I'm no expert, but the way that it works now is that mortars are uh, classed for carrying purposes as launchers and they come in two parts so these guys in front of me here um, squad leader uh, the gunner uh, the ammo bearer and then the assistant these are a mortar squad so you've got your commander here who's kind of in charge now this guy here is carrying the tripod the, you can kind of see the big there's the big base plate there and there's the legs for it there um, which is pretty cool now this guy here is carrying the tube for the mortar there you can't carry both at the same time because they're classed as launchers they go in your launcher slot in your inventory and this guy here has got um, lots of ammo uh, on him um, so if you want to use a mobile mortar team and haven't just come across a fixed mortar that's there you're gonna need two people one of you carrying the tube and one of you carrying the tripod um, my soldier here is carrying the tripod and what you do is you go to a location and you take off the it doesn't matter which one but you throw to the ground for example the the tripod here so if I throw this to the ground say over here so I just just take it off there it is on the ground and then your mate with the um, tube comes along and there just happens to be one here on the ground comes along and looks at it and then presses space and can then assemble the mortar Oop, like so so our mortar is now assembled now let me just check I've got some ammo um, yeah I've got some ammo as well um, now you can disassemble the, the mortar and you'll get a tooltip to, to say so but, and this may well be bugged in my build or may well be bugged in this version of Armour 3 or Spearhead. In fact that when you've dismantled it you can pick up the tube but you can't pick up the tripod again. You can't pick up the kind of the base plate. But that could well be a, uh, a bug that, that's in the game at the moment and it's probably going to be sorted out. Now to actually use and fire the mortar and so if you came across a mortar and you had some ammo basically you can just go up to it and when you see the target you, know, you just press space bar and you get into it. Or if you were, uh, you could roll, go up to it, scroll your mouse wheel, and say, "Get!" You can get in as the gunner, or <laughs> um, ride in the back. Um, so there's two positions uh, on the mortar. There's the there's the gunner, and there's the guy on the side. And the idea is that if you do have two people, you can work together to get the mortar firing really, really quickly with one guy reloading it and the other guy aiming. So let's get into it as a gunner. So here we are, so we're in as a gunner, um, and then we can roll down, we could prep some, say, uh, Willy Pete round. So let's prep a Willy Pete round, like so, and let's load that in. And then we just go to the artillery computer. Now kind of, uh, I wish they didn't called it a computer, but called it something else, um, like, I don't know, a chart or something. Um, so that's me there pointing this direction. So we, all we can do, we can just pick a target. So let's say over here, um, there's some stuff there. So let's pick there and we can say, uh, mo charge zero closest. And um, this is gonna be the Willy Peach shell. So click fire, go back so we can see. Um, now mortars take an awful long time, especially if they're <laughs> you've aimed at something close to hit the ground again. So that's going to hit the ground soon. And that's his Woolly Pete, so it should make it like a big white smoke. There it goes. Pachoosh. Set things on fire. Pretty cool that way. And then we can say, uh, we could load in another one of those, or tell you what, let's prep some high explosive round this time. And let's load those. And let's go back into the computer. And let's aim. What should we go for? This house here. Uh, this one here and then fuck let's see what happens yeah. oh okay I was aiming at the wrong thing 
<laughs> so that one landed there. I'm probably aiming at targets that are a little bit too close. So you kind of get the idea. Now this is really going to rely on your teammates spotting people um, using like uh, shift T. Is it shift T? To do tactical um, spots that will appear on the map. And so you know there's an, there's an enemy there then you can go into the artillery computer and you'll still see the tag there um, or live spotting people as well so that you can use indirect fire because imagine I would be I would be here with my mortar and then if we zoom in you know my, my, I could have a spotter here over the brow of the hill looking down onto these houses where the enemy positions are and then we could be you know calling in the mortars there you know indirect fire um, very very effective and let's get out um, and again then what normally would whoop, oops. we would then look for the dis dismantle option there we go dum -de -dum -de -dum -de -dum -de -dum. so that gets dismantled I've got he automatically puts the tube in my backpack um, I can't pick up the tripod um, because um, it just doesn't let me but you'll see that if I actually drop the tri drop the tube here let's just drop the tube I still don't get the option to pick it up um, could be that I'm wearing I wonder if I'm wearing the wrong back no I've got the proper backpack on I think so yeah so there we go that's kind of how the mortars work I think they're a little bit bugged at the moment um, but have have a go because they're incredibly effective tools for taking out enemy strong points it's, um, enemy sort of um, light armor um, and generally causing chaos uh, amongst the enemy because they won't know where this fire is coming from. Anyway, that's enough from me. Hopefully, you found this video useful. If you have it, like, once more the same, press subscribe, and I will, of course, see you again soon.